Well, you guys got another video. This is why no one likes Windows 11 24H2. I did a fresh install of Windows 11 24H2. I left the computer on, went up to the hospital for an appointment, come back, and when I come back, the taskbar was missing. Just as you can see here, there is no taskbar, and you might be thinking this is a simple fix. So I went to the task manager by pushing Control, Shift, and Escape. This will open up Task Manager, and I tried to restart Windows Explorer, thinking it would populate and come back. And as you can see, it's not populated, and it's not coming back onto the actual desktop here. So I have no taskbar for some reason. Not sure whether it was an update or something like that that has caused this issue. So let's go ahead, and I'll take you along for the ride and try to resolve this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on the desktop, and what we're going to do is go to personalization here. And I just want to check the Windows updates to see whether there was an update while I was out and it's updated the system because this was a fresh install of Windows. Unfortunately, I had to install 24H2 because I didn't have 23H2 to hand. That means I've had to go to 24H2. And I can see there, there is actually an update for the 12th of the 4th, 2025. So these updates are probably going to be uninstalled to see whether this resolved the issue. I will need to restart the PC once I uninstall these. This is a common problem. Windows updates in the background if you don't have, uh, you know, your setting to set to manual. Unfortunately, because this is a fresh install, I never had time to set that up and it just rolled an update out in the background. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and uninstall uh, these two updates in a hope that that resolves the issue and my taskbar will come back. So let me go ahead and do that right here. So we'll let this uninstall and it needs to restart the PC to, uh, you know, remove this from the system. I might as well uninstall this one right here because this is also 14th of the 4th, uh, 2025. So I'm going to go ahead and click uninstall here. Now these will come back down through Windows updates once you restart the PC. It will offer you these updates once again, but you can pause these if it is causing an issue. So let this uninstall and I'll quickly restart the PC and then we can come back to the desktop and hopefully my taskbar is back. So let's go ahead and let this uninstall and I'll restart the PC and get back to the desktop. Now I've restarted the PC and the taskbar is still missing. So let me go into our settings panel right here again. And what we're gonna do is go into taskbar and we're just gonna make sure that the taskbar is not hidden automatically. And you can see the check mark is removed, which means it's not automatically hiding my taskbar. So that is not the issue. So let's go ahead, I'll try and move this to the left and to the center, see if that repopulates and it doesn't. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna go on to the next step to try and resolve this issue. So let's go ahead, we're going to right click on the desktop again, go personalize to open up the settings panel, go into system here. And what we'll do is go to display and make sure the display settings are set the way they should be. Because if the resolution is wrong, uh, then basically this could also affect the taskbar, but everything seems to be okay here. So that is not the issue right here. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the next step and do the next test. So I'm going to close this off right here. I'm going to press Control Shift and Escape, and this will open up the Task Manager again. I'm going to go to Run New Task here. I'm going to type Explorer.exe and create a new task. This sometimes works, and this normally populates a brand new taskbar. But as you can see, it's not coming back up. So let's try uh, one more time here, and we'll try CMD and we'll run this as administrator, and we'll try SFC scan now, and hopefully this will find an issue with our operating system and fix it, and hopefully when we reboot the system, it will fix and resolve the issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and run SFC space forward slash scan now, and let this go through. I'll speed this process up, and once this is done, you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So what we can do now is restart the PC and hopefully this resolves the issue because it did find a problem and it has fixed those. So let me quickly restart the system and we'll get back to the desktop. Now, once I've got back to the desktop, 
as you can see here, the taskbar is still missing. So let's go back into our task manager. We're going to create a new task. And from here, what we're going to do is type PowerShell in here this time. And we're going to run this as administrator as well. And we're going to reset everything here. And hopefully this will resolve our issue. So we're going to paste in these big commands here. And you might see some red errors coming up. And this is pretty normal, so don't worry about that. And what we'll do is we reset everything here. So let me put this next command in. And hopefully when we run this and we restart the PC afterwards, it's going to fix and resolve our issue. So we'll just let that run. You might see a bit of red errors coming up here. That's pretty normal. And once that's done, we can then restart the PC. And hopefully this will resolve our issue that we're having. Now, I have seen this problem before. And unfortunately, it was a pretty difficult one to repair. And I ended up having to do a fresh install on the system. I'm hoping that this is not the case. So I'm going to right click on the desktop and go personalize. And we're going to go into system. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into recovery. And we'll try fix problems using Windows Update. Sometimes this can restore the current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved, but it will try to repair Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and run this because all of the other stuff that I've tried has not fixed our issue. We still have no taskbar. So let's go ahead and do this and we'll see how good this tool is. And hopefully this will resolve the issue. So I'm going to let this run. Click OK here. This is going to download the file from Microsoft. You'll see it populate up on here, Windows 11 version 24H2. That completed and installed. It's, you know, basically pending a restart. So what we need to do here is restart the PC. So I'll go ahead and do all of that. It's going to update the system. You won't see that part because I'm skipping through that to save time. So I'll go ahead right now and restart the PC. And unfortunately, after I restarted the PC, as you can see, we still have no taskbar. So now we're running out of options and there's not much more we can do. So what we might be forced to do here is we might need to do a reset this PC, which is something I didn't want to do. But unfortunately, this is all that is left to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go to reset this PC. And we'll select that option right here. Keep my files. So I'm going to go ahead and select that option. But you can remove everything, but that will erase everything on the computer. This is going to now download. If we choose cloud download, it's going to download a fresh copy. Unfortunately, all of our settings and all of our uh, apps will be removed from the computer. So I will have to reinstall all of those. And this is exactly why people don't like Windows 11 24H2 because it's buggy and it's full of problems. And this is just another issue that I'm having with 24H2 where I've refused to upgrade to 24H2 and I was using 23H2, but unfortunately, I had to reinstall because I had an issue and I didn't have the 23H2 ISO to hand. So there we go. So let's go ahead and we've restarted the PC and we are now back at the desktop, as you can see, and it's now working correctly. Unfortunately, I'll have to go ahead and reinstall all the applications. As you can see here, I've already started doing that. I've installed Camtasia so I can record the screen, got Steam downloaded, and I've also got Discord downloaded. Let me know if you've had this issue yourself and whether you was able to fix it. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.